Welcome. This is One Gratitude and I'm Lorraine Aguilar. Please type your gratitude into the comment box. I can't wait to see what they are. I'll be serenading you as you do that with a little song from Jewel, one of her uh, classics. And then I'll um, share mine before that and scroll through your responses for some shout outs. Those of you who are live with me right now on Instagram. So as we uh, settle into this Tuesday and our gratitude, please join me in a deep breath just to get centered, get connected with our bodies, which is really important during these days, at least for me, <laughs> and centered into this present moment of gratitude. Hmm. So my, my gratitude today is for journaling. Um, I had a lot of thoughts running through my head this morning, and so I journaled, and um, boy, just put all my emotions out there on the page, and my thoughts and my uncertainties, what's in my heart, what's in my head, anything that's swimming around, I got it out on the page, and I felt so much clearer, and uh, journaling is something I've done off, on and off in my life, but it, it's always served me, so this morning I'm really grateful for journaling, and the clarity that it gives me, as well as a place to take all the things that um, can weigh heavily on me and to let it rest on the page and, and lighten me, light, lightening me up for the day. So what is your gratitude? As <laughs> we got a little yes <laughs> from one of our viewers. So what is yours as I serenade you this little vintage jewel song? Here we go. Uh -huh. That's a fun one to play on the guitar. Nice little strumminess. Oh, I'm so happy to see our live viewers today. Oh my gosh, Klaus from the Netherlands, my dear sister Susie, who just celebrated a birthday yesterday, and my fellow musician, Happy Ron and Ben Rodlitz. Oh, my agile brother. Okay, so happy to see you all, welcome. Okay, the first gratitude I see is from Happy Ron. He says, grateful to hear a big fat, all caps, no, that opens the door to future yeses. Ooh, that is so nonviolent communication, my brother. <laughs> oh, yes, how to hear a no and to hear the yes behind the no. I'm going to read that one more time because I love it so much. Happy Ron is grateful to hear a big fat no 
that opens the door to future yeses. I love that outlook, absolutely. And uh, many of us, myself included, who have lived long enough to experience a number of no's in our life, knows that, uh, yes, that can catapult us into new possibilities, new realities that were beyond our thoughts or expectations or, or imagination. So thank you, Ron, for sharing that. So my dear sis, birthday girl, Susie Wa says, not sure what the theme was today, but I am just grateful to be alive and well. Amen, sister. Yes to being alive and well, especially during these tender days when not everyone is. So yes, yes, yes. And the theme today was journaling. <laughs> okay, Klaas all the way from the Netherlands says, don't know how to say in English, but grateful when it was a small effort for me and received a big gratitude. Mmm, I love that. Grateful when it was a small effort for me and received a big gratitude. Mm. I wonder if that's related, uh, Klaas, to something that I like to say in, in some of my workshops about, you know, always looking for like the small things that give, give big results. You know, and sometimes it's not even the things that we intended. Um, I remember sometimes having some really down days and all it took was um, the kind eyes and a gentle smile from a stranger. And, and I'm almost crying just thinking about that. That totally touched my heart and comforted me in, in some really dark times. So that little stranger, that little old lady sitting on the bench in the mall, probably had no idea that her gaze, her smile, actually not only turned around my day, but it actually turned around my life. Because that moment of kindness, so small, um, helped me make a life-changing decision at that time. So, But back to you, Klaas, um, I'm appreciating that from my own perspective, what it means when, when you do a little small effort and it, and it lands so big. So I'm glad, and I bet you there's a lovely Dutch expression for that. <laughs> I love the Dutch language. And Susie says, I like that, Ron, woohoo. And Klasa says, that's it. Oh, I'm so glad I was able to guess um, the meaning behind that. So, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful just to have you all here. So let me just reach through the screen and give you all my safe embrace, yay. Last call for any gratitudes. If you want to throw any more in, there's always room. And I'll go ahead and close with our little blessing for uh, for this day or evening, wherever you are. So uh, as we sink into this, our gratitudes for this Tuesday, my, my hope for you all as well as myself is that this mindfulness practice can fill our hearts, keep us strong, keep us connected to what matters, because this is the time this is the time to be kind. This is the time to take good care of each other and good care of ourselves. And this is certainly the time to do our part to facilitate humanity rising in new, powerful, and creative ways. All right, thank you everyone. Um, you, I, 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 I don't have the words to tell you how grateful I am to all of you. Thank you for making this practice so much more meaningful and powerful just by your presence. Bye.